What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another great class at the Burn Down Academy. Today's class with Professor Dapper and Professor Brother, we're going to be teaching you guys how to season your humidor. So stay tuned because it's the Burn Down Academy. <laughs> So today's class, we're talking to you about how to season a humidor. So before we even get into that, let's talk about what seasoning actually means. What does it mean, Basil? What does it all mean, Basil? <laughs> so when you first get a humidor, like this one right here, this is just a tabletop, tabletop maybe 10, 20 count humidor. What happens is the humidor itself is completely dry, okay? They don't come pre-seasoned. The wood is completely dry, meaning it doesn't have any moisture in it whatsoever. So what seasoning actually means is you're trying to put moisture into the wood and let the wood absorb as much moisture as it can so that the climate inside that humidor stays at the right humidification so your cigars stay fresh. So Eric, what's the first step in seasoning a humidor? Sure. So when you get your brand new humidor, you're going to have a couple things inside it. You're going to have a hygrometer, humidification device. You want to make sure you take all this stuff out and you want the humidor basically, for lack of a better term, naked. You don't want nothing in it, just all the cedar wood. So after you removed all the items from your, uh, your cigar humidor, you want nothing in it. Now there's a few things that you're gonna need to set it up. Justin, what are those things? Sure, so the first thing you're gonna need is distilled water. Distilled water is water that has no minerals in it. All the minerals have been removed. This is basically pure, clean water. Um, you're going to need that because that is going to be the main humidification device for your humidor. Uh, not having any of the minerals in there will not allow your humidor to grow any mold or get any impurities in your cigars. You want perfectly clean water. The next thing you're going to need is a plastic bag. Now this is going to be used for two things. Um, you're going to need a plastic bag to calibrate your hygrometer. You're also going to need a plastic bag because once we get the humidor set up, this is what you're going to use to set your, um, your sponge on. And then thirdly, like I mentioned before, sponge. You need a non-scented sponge. So make sure it doesn't have any lemon scents or any of the soap. Some of the sponges come with soap already built in. Make sure it's a perfectly clean, unused, non-scented sponge. You could also use a clean dish rag, like a white dish rag. Again, nothing that's got any impurities on it, nothing that's been used already. And the fourth thing, is not really a necessity, but it's gonna help, is a little dish. This is where you're gonna put your distilled water so that you can dip your sponge in. It makes it a little bit easier than just pouring the water on top of the sponge. So Eric, what's next? So, you have your distilled water, you have your non-scented, boring sponge, and you have a little bowl to put the water in. So first thing you're gonna do, take the water, oh, a little too oh excited. Got a little too excited. A little too excited. Got there. a little overzealous there. So you put the water in, you're gonna dab, you're gonna dab the sponge. Make sure it soaks. Now you don't want it completely soaked where it's mopping wet, right? So you're gonna open the humidor as Justin wipes it down and you wanna make sure that you cover every square inch, a nice coating, all the sides, all the grooves. You don't wanna soak it where it's like completely flooded. Like I said, you just want a nice coating. You wanna make sure you get all the cedar covered nice and wet. Now, a tip here is the wood will actually change color as you're wiping this down. It'll get darker. But like Eric said, you don't want to completely soak. You don't want any puddles in there, but you do want to get every square inch of the interior of your humidor. You want to wipe down all of the corners. You want to wipe down the seal. You want to wipe down the lid. And if you have any trays or dividers in there, you want to wipe them down too. So after you have a nice little coating on it, Next thing you're gonna do is gonna take your plastic bag, simply lay it in the center of the humidor, take your wet sponge, close the humidor, and let it sit for 24 hours. What this does, it absorbs all the moisture, absorbs all the water, and gets that seed of the nice smell and the nice season that you're looking for. So now that we got the humidor all wet and we're waiting for it to uh, soak up that water, now you have the opportunity to calibrate your hygrometer. So there's a couple things you're gonna need for this. You're going to need your hygrometer. Now your humidor might have come with an analog one like this, a digital one like this. Now they both do the same thing. Obviously one's just manual, one is digital. 
you're going to need one of those. The next thing you're going to need is a Ziploc bag. And then the third thing is you have two options. You can use a Bovita pack, which is a 75% Bovita pack, or you can do the old school way, which is a bottle cap. Now what you need for the bottle cap is just some salt and distilled water, and it works the same way as a 75% Bovita pack. So Eric, what do we do now? How do we, we got all the items. How are we going to calibrate our hygrometer? All right. So we already have, if you're going the Bovita route, you already have the Bovita pack inside the bag. Now, the good thing about Bovita, it takes all the steps of pouring the water and the cap and the salt away. All you simply have to do is open the bag, put either your digital or your analog hygrometer inside the bag, close it up, make sure there's no air. You wanna push out all the air. And now you leave it with the humidor, not inside, and let that, let that sit for 24 hours as well. When that's all over, Everything should be calibrated. The humidor should be humidified with all the uh, distilled water. You should be good to go. So now if you don't have a Bovita pack like this, you can do the old school <laughs> way with a bottle cap. So you just want to fill the bottle cap up with some salt. You can use table salt. You can use whatever, kosher salt, whatever you want. Fill it up with some salt. And then you want to take some distilled water and you want to apply a few drops to the salt where it's not completely soaked. You don't want the water level to come above the salt, but you want the salt to, to be damp, to be moist, to kind of form a salt paste, if you will. So once you have that, you take your bottle cap filled with the salt and distilled water. You throw it in your, your bag. You grab your hygrometer. You throw it in the bag. And then you zip it up. So now that we've waited 24 hours, we come back and we're going to check our hygrometers. Now they should read 75% because the humidity inside the plastic bag is 75%. If you have a 75% Bovita pack, it should be 75. If you use the salt and the distilled water method, that typically reads 75. But Eric, what do you do if your hygrometer doesn't read 75? Well, if it's not reading 75, the pain and the little downgrade about an analog is that there's a little screw on the back. You can simply just take a flathead screwdriver or whatever you have and put it towards 75. That's the old school way, if you will. With the digital hygrometer, there's a button that will automatically um, calibrate it to 75. So all you gotta do is press that button, let it recalibrate, put it away, and unfortunately you do have to wait a little bit longer, but it's as simple as that. So now we've waited 24 hours, and what we're gonna do is we're actually going to open up the humidor, and we're gonna wipe it down a second time. So we wanna do the same thing. Take your plastic bag out, you're gonna take your sponge. Now what this is gonna do again is we're trying to get the wood inside the humidor to absorb as much moisture as we can so that our humidification device doesn't have to do all the work. So at this point, you wanna, again, keep hum humidifying your humidor. So you're gonna take your bag, you're gonna take the sponge, you're gonna put it inside. Now there's a couple of options for the humidi humidification devices that you have. First is the passive humidification. You have the magnet right here, typically, you can put it right there, or you can use a Bovita pack like this or so, place it in, or you can use a tray or a cup of distilled water that you put it in. Um, but just make sure whichever one you're using, um, you make sure that it's humidified. So for a passive humidification device, you wanna fill it with either a humidification gel or distilled water. For the Bovita packs, you don't need to, they already have it. And for the dish, again, you could fill it with, with distilled water, you can fill it with beads and the humidification gel. Whichever humidification device you have, just make sure you put it in there with the sponge. And for the passive humidification device, it is a little bit tricky. All you have to do is literally pour water right on top here and it will absorb it. I know it doesn't look like it when you first get it, but you pour water on, water on it and there's a type of sponge in there that will absorb all of it. Put it in, close it, and you're good to go. At this point, make sure that you put in your calibrated hygrometer. Um, this one we're using a digital. So you just wanna, if you have the magnet, you just put the magnet on the lid, or if you don't have a magnet, you can simply throw it in the bottom of the humidor. But you wanna make sure that that's in there as well so that when you come back in 24 to 48 hours, you can actually see what the, humid the humidity is. And you wanna let it sit for 24 hours straight. You don't wanna check every six hours, oh, is it, is it up yet, is it up yet? You wanna keep opening and closing, that's a no-no. You wanna make sure at least keep it closed for 24 hours. Usually it'll take anywhere from 24 to 72. Um, but when you come back, after 24, check it. If it's not up to, t up to humidity, let it sit. 
for another day. Check it. If it's not, let it sit for another. It could take a little bit, depend, a little longer, depending on how big your humidor is. If we come to a point right here where it's too much, okay, then what you want to do is you want to remove some of the humidification. So you want to remove the sponge, okay, um, and then you can even re remove one of your humidification devices and close it back up to let that humidity come back down because you might have added too much. For a small hum humidor like this, you might not need all of these things. For a bigger one, you might you might need them. So Eric, so when we come back to take a look at our humidor, and we have mentioned waiting for it to get up to the right humidity, what is the opt what's the ideal humidity? What what's that range? The ideal humidity for cigar humidor is anywhere between 65% and 72%. Me personally, I like it at even 70. Justin, I know, likes to keep it at 68, 69. It's really a matter of preference. Now, what is the difference between having your cigar humidor at 65% and 72? Justin, let them know. Well, essentially, it's you're talking about humidity, okay? So the higher the humidity in your cigar, the more moisture your cigars are going to hold, which means they're going to be a little bit softer. They're going to smoke at a, at a, at a higher um, humidity. They're going to smoke a little bit more. They're not going to burn as much. The lower the humidity, they're not going to hold as much moisture, but certain cigars will smoke better at lower humidities versus other cigars. And it's more of a personal preference. Some people I know they keep them at 65. If they're really aging them, they might keep them at, you know, a little bit, a little bit lower, maybe 64, maybe 63. But ideally, 65 to 72 is a good sweet spot. Like Eric said, he likes his at 70. I keep mine at about 69, 69 and a half. So Eric, we talked about the sweet spot of 65 to 72. What happens if you're below that? What if you're below, say, let's say you're below 60%, what's going to happen to your cigars? Well, you don't want the cigars below 65%. If you're, if you're reading 60%, it's not good for the cigars because your cigars can dry out, your cigars can crack. Um, if you keep your cigars at 60, once you light a cigar, you're going to notice a huge difference because, like I said, they're dried out. It's going to burn a lot faster. Yeah, you have an uneven burn. And you don't want dry cigars. You want humid cigars. You want something that's firm. So keeping it below 65, you're running the risk of drying out your cigars, which is something that you never want. What happens if you're on the higher end? What if you keep it above 72? Let's say you're at 75, 77%. What can happen then? Um, keeping it way too high like that, you can bring mold to the cigars. You might see some green spots. You might see some black spots, which you never want. That's a big no-no. Um, and cigars are obviously from the ground. They're a plant. So sometimes if you have it too dry or too hot or too humid, there's beetles, there's insects in there that might come out. I know Justin can speak to that because that has happened to him before. So you don't want anything above 75. I know we said 72, but 75 is like the max, the max, the max you want to keep it at. Below, you're going to dry out too high. You're going to bring mold. You're going to bring insects. You don't want that. You don't want that. And it also depends on where you are currently living. If you're in a drier climate, you might want to keep your cigars at a little bit higher humidity, maybe 72. If you're in more of a hot and humid climate, you might want to keep them on the lower end because you kind of want to balance it out. You don't want to, if you live in a hot and humid climate, you don't want to keep your cigars on the higher end because they're just going to be really, really humid, really moist. So you kind of have to find that sweet spot. Again, it's personal preference, but anywhere between 65 and 75 is a good, 75 is really high end. I would say 72. So 65 to 72, perfect. And we're not talking about temperature. We're talking about humidity. But just a quick rule of thumb, if you want to know about what temperature to keep your cigar at, it's very easy. I call it the 70 and 70, 70% 70 humidity, 70% uh, 70 degrees Fahrenheit, or I don't know, Celsius, but 70 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> so you've waited a lot of time. Your humidor is up to humidity. It's reading 67, 68, 70%. And now you're ready to put your cigars in. So all you want to do, open up your humidor. Throw your cigars in there, make sure you have your hygrometer, make sure you have your humidification device, and you're good to go. Enjoy. Ready to rock and roll, baby. Enjoy those smokes. So today, we told you how to humidify a humidor. We hope this helped. Until next class, class is dismissed. <laughs>